let's do the ultimate comparison <laughs> OLED plasma IPS display and CRT <laughs> of course I don't have enough tech to do a pro to you know properly show what I have here with me but you you're gonna have to rely on my description what I what it looks to me so I have the OLED here this is the OLED this is a plasma this is the 1440p IPS display and this is the CRT so of course I'm not gonna talk talk about screen size because it's obvious CRT is too small it's a 17 inch um, but yeah just talking about the picture quality and the differences between the technologies and this is just a video about a pair of inline skates uh, I like to skate a lot as my one of my hobbies my hobbies so yeah so I have the OLED looking on SDR as good as I can so what I do is uh, just go and have it doesn't matter if, it, if it's game optimizer mode for picture quality what matters is the settings here so the best picture I can get for SDR movies and content is max out the OLED pixel brightness so I can do BT1886 I love that uh, otherwise I can use 2.2 and just lower that OLED uh, pixel brightness I cannot play games like this because it's too dark but to watch content I like that so I am actually and the colors you know the colors are set to 55 and 150 the plasma I'm actually trying to downplay the colors because some people mention on the comments oh the plasma colors are too rich they are exaggerated and you are just used to it so but it is not but it's not accurate it's too much okay let's try to downplay the plasma colors <laughs> so I'm actually trying to do that I lower the color settings down from 50 to 30 <laughs> so if I do that color setting uh, zero it would be monochrome so I'm trying to completely downplay the the colors let's go to picture you can see there color 30 is by default is in 50 but I'm I'm have that on 30 just to make sure that what I like about the plasma is not <laughs> it has nothing to do with having the richest colors and at 30 it still have better <laughs> and richer colors than the than the OLED which is at 55 and you can see some lines on the plasma I, I don't see you know those uh, artifacts that's just the technology it doesn't like sometimes the cameras and it, you know, that um, artifact you see on the screen, that's not tearing. It's just the camera he's using. Um, it just looks like that. So the plasma looks with that. It has that warmer tone. That white point is just warmer. It looks nicer. I like it more. The way the screen is illuminated. I like it a lot. So here the IPS is actually looking pretty good. It's looking good. I don't see it. It's looking, for example, uh, I think a little bit dark. Um, I might have to raise the the gamma. I didn't mess around a lot with the with the settings on the monitor. Let me check it out. Movie game just have it on standard I have to I, I haven't used this in a while so I kind of forgot <laughs> the the settings here how to set up the settings I'm, I'll, I'll do it later so the CRT is looking like crap 
under the camera you see those artifacts going like crazy it has to do with the way the CRT refreshes the, the screen but I can tell you I don't know if I like the CRT more than the plasma, the image quality. Maybe I do. The problem is, it's too small. That's the problem. So, because it's too small, I don't use it. I don't use it because it is, it is too small. But motion resolution on the CRT <laughs> is a joke. Like, it's... I, I don't know how they can just finish a technology like okay we're not going to do this anymore and i don't care about e-waste i don't care about power consumption i don't care about anything because there is a market for enthusiasts and to play video games you want motion resolution so how can you say okay we're not going to produce this technology anymore when that is the absolute best technology you can have for motion resolution. That's insane. That's just ridiculous. Like how the I know industry and it's all about profits. They don't care about anything else. It's just profit, profit, profit. Um you know if it doesn't make money it doesn't make sense. But I I I am sure that if they just decide to go higher and higher end with the CRTs people would pay for it. I am sure if they make a not 4K maybe it was not possible. But I'm sure if they make a 32 inch uh gaming monitor, CRT gaming monitor that's like you know 120 hertz you don't need more than that on crt to be honest is there's no sense on a crt uh, technology it makes absolutely no sense going beyond 120 you don't need it <laughs> it's absolutely not necessary you, you do 100 hertz on a crt and you move the camera zero input lag absolutely perfection in, in motion you don't need anything else so if you can do a monitor on a, C a CRT monitor that is 32 inch and it is uh, beyond 1440p, as close as you can to 4K, I am sure people would pay $3,000 for that. Absolutely. I would pay that. I don't, <laughs> not that I have the money right now, but I would, I would save the money and pay $3,000 for that. And I'm sure a lot of people would. So how can you just eliminate completely this technology the best motion you can get amazing contrast amazing colors that i think are even better than the plasma the thing is i don't use it enough to to really have an opinion about that but just looking at it i think it is better than the plasma but it's just too small as a, and that is is a big it's a big deal that's the screen size the yeah, that's amazing. That's I'm gonna have to do a video about that. Uh, but you know, a lot of people have done that, and a lot of people know that CRTs are just amazing. And actually, people do pay a lot of money for it. So yeah, I mean, this is not the best video example. I was just watching this. Uh, see if I can get this uh, skates. <laughs> skates are amazing, and I love to skate. Uh, actually, I have a skate. Uh, I have a YouTube channel about skating. <laughs> so, yeah, just uh, first impressions, let's say. I would do more videos about trying to you know, get a better example, maybe get some video games and compare the technologies in motion. Uh, of course, this is going to be sample and hold your monitor, 1440p monitor. So here's here's the problem I have with this. With it, you know, all the technologies we have invented, they are, I mean, I have here a, a great percentage of that. How can the industry go in this direction of sample and hold displays that have terrible contrast, 
because if you're playing video game the most important thing is you know input lag motion resolution but for picture quality contrast is that's the the most important attribute of picture quality and ips displays are the are worse are the worst so you have a sample and hold display that's a worse in movement and you have the worst contrast on an ips display why why they keep making uh, you know more and more and more of that just forget about that crap <laughs> you know you can do a budget display like that but don't try to make it two thousand dollar display with that technology that's nonsense so yeah i have to do more videos i'm running out of battery <laughs> but yeah that's just first impressions i will do more more comparisons <laughs>